Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 7, Cube and Cube Roots, Exercise 7.1. Question number 1. Which of the following numbers are not perfect cubes? Perfect cubes means the same way the square root we will find out, right? The same way we can take the factors. The square means we need to pair up two numbers. This cube means we need to pair up three numbers. If the perfectly three three pairs are there means what? That is a perfect cube. So first one is 216. So we can take the prime factors of 216. 2, 1, this 0, 8, 2s are 16. 2, 5, 2s are 10, 4, 2s are 8. Again 2, 2, 2s are 4, 7, 2s are 14. 3, 9, 3s are 27. Again, 3 into 3 is 9, right? So, if you are taking 3 minutes, this becomes 1. So, what is, the, what is the prime factor? So, 216, 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 3 into, 3 into, 3, right? That means, this 3, we can take one pair. This 3, we can take one pair, correct? Here, all the factors in this groups are triplets only, right? 2, triplet, 3 is also triplet. So what is the, uh, if suppose we are taking cube root means what we need to write 2 into 3 equal to 6 is the cube root of 216. No need to find this one. From here it is clear that 216 is a um, perfect cube. This is perfect cube. 216 is perfect cube. So we need to find which one, uh, which one is not a perfect cube. So here first one is a perfect cube. If it is group is there means that is a perfect cube we can write. Second one. Second one is uh, 128. 128. That also we can take factors. 128. 2. 6 2s are 12. 4 2s are 8. Again. 2. 3 2s are 6. 2 2s are 4. Again. 1. 6 2s are 12. Again. 2. 8 2s are 16. 2. 4 2s are 8. 2. 2. So here also we can say that this 3. 2 in one group. This 2 in another triplet. Correct. 3 uh, 2s are vacant, one, one group. This 3 2s are in one group. Then which one is remaining? Only one is left, right? That means here one factor 2 does not have pairs, right? This is not, uh, this, uh, this one is standing alone only. If it is 3 only, we can make it as a pair, right? That means this one is not a perfect cube, we can write. Not perfect cube. 128 is not perfect cube, we can write. Answer. Next, third one. Third one is 1000. 1, 0, 0. So here, it, um, which one? 1000 means from here it is clear that from 3 zeros, 1, 1, 0 only we can pair up. Right? That means it is a perfect cube only. This is perfect cube. That means suppose the cube root, how will represent this 3? This is, here we need to represent 3. That is the cube root of 1000. Like this only we will read. Cube root of 1000 means 10 into, this one we can write as 10 into, 10 into, 10 is 1000, right? So from these 10s, 110 we can write outside. So 10 is the cube root. No need to find this one. Just we need to uh, tell which, uh, which, uh, which numbers are not perfect cubes only, right? Fourth one. Fourth one is 100. 100 means here it is clear that only two zeros. That is not a perfect cube, correct? This is not perfect cube. If it is three zeros only, we can pair up. Here only two zero. That is not a perfect cube. Otherwise, we can take the prime factor method. Like that also we can find out. Suppose if you are taking prime factors means same answer we will get. 2, 5, 2 is 50. Again 2, 25. Then 5, 5 is 25. See this 2. This is also one pair is missing. Here also one pair is missing. That means this is not a perfect cube. Correct. Next step. Fifth one. 46,656. So here we can take the factors. 46,656. With the 2. 2 2s are 4. 3 2s uh, are 6. 2 2s are 4. 8 2s are 16. Again 2. 1. Here also 1. Then remainder 6 2s are 12. Again 6 2s are 12. 4 2s are 8. Again 2. 5 2s are 10. 8 2s are 16, 3 2s are 6, 2 2s are 4. Again 2, 2 2s are 4, 9 2s are 18, 
वन टेन सिक्स टू सा ट्वेल्व अगेन टू वन फोर टू सा एट फाइव टू सा टेन एट टू सा सिक्सटीन अगेन टू सेवन टू सा फोर्टीन टू टू सा फोर नाइन टू सा एटीन हियर थ्री थ्री टू सा सिक्स वन सो फोर थ्री सा ट्वेल्व थ्री थ्री सा नाइन टू फोर्टी थ्री अगेन थ्री एट थ्री सा ट्वेंटी फोर वन अगेन थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन Again three nine three is a twenty seven three. What right? right? So here also we can take this three one pair, these twos one pair, this three is one pair, this three is also one pair. That means everyone is a pair only, right? Here all the factors are in triplets only. So what uh, what we can say? Therefore, this is a perfect cube number. Perfect cube. So what are the uh, Here we need to find what are the numbers that are not perfect cube. That means one hundred and twenty-eight and a hundred, which are not perfect cube numbers. We can write answer. Question number two. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. That means here, if it is not a perfect cube, that means perfect cube means three numbers we need to pair up, right? If it is not a uh, pair, means what we need to do? We need to multiply, right? That number to make it as a Perfect cube. So like that, the smallest uh, here we need to find the number must be multiplied to make it as a perfect cube. If something is missing, means that number we need to multiply, right? So first one is two hundred and forty-three. So we can take the fact is two hundred and forty-three. Mm, let me take here two hundred and forty-three. Fact is eight three is a twenty-one. Oh, sorry, with the three eight three is a twenty-four. One again three twenty-seven. Three nine three is a twenty-seven. Correct. So the factors are three into three into three into three into three. So this three 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 is in one pair. Here only two threes, right? So in order to make that as a uh, pair means what we need to do? We need to multiply with one three. Correct. That means this the uh, two threes does not appear in a threes group, right? So if you are multiplying with the one three to make it as a perfect cube, so the number must be multiplied is here by three, correct? Two forty, so we can write therefore two forty three must be multiplied by three to make make it as perfect cube. We can write so like this. We need to write the answer. Second one, two hundred and fifty-six. Here also we can take the factors. Two hundred and fifty-six factors. Two hundred and fifty-six with the two, one, two twos are four, eight twos are sixteen. Again two, six twos are twelve, four twos are eight. Again two, three twos are six, two twos are four. Again one, six twos are twelve. Again two, eight twos are sixteen. Two, four twos are eight. Two into two. So here also we can see the factors. Two into two into Two into two into two again. Two into two into two uh, again. Two into two. That means this three, this three, and here also one two is missing, right? So here two fifty six must be multiplied by two to make it as a perfect cube. We need to write answer. Third one seventy two. So seventy two factors. Seventy two factors also we can take. Seventy-two, three two sir six, six two sir twelve. Again two one eight two sir sixteen two nine two sir eighteen three into three. So the factors are two into two into two into three into three. This three two in one group. Here this three, which one is missing? One three is missing. Correct. That means here three these. Three twos, uh, threes does not have a pair. Correct. That means seventy-two must be multiplied by three to make it as a perfect cube number. Fourth one, six hundred and seventy-five. Six hundred and seventy-five. Fact is in five table. One here five threes are fifteen twenty-five. Five fives are twenty-five. Again, five table. Um, five two sa ten thirty five seven three sa thirty five seven five sa thirty five again three nine three sa twenty seven three three sa nine that means factors are 
5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. That means this 3, that is a pair. In this 5, which one is missing? 1, 5 is missing. Okay. This 5 does not have a pair. right? So, this 675 must be multiplied by 5 to make it as a perfect cube number. We can write answer. Next, fifth one. Fifth one is 100. 100, if it, we can take factors or 100 means how we can write like this also we can 100 means 10 into 10. So this 10 we can write as 5 into 2. This 10 also we can write as 5 into 2. Right? This is a lowest form, right? That means 5 into 5, 2 into 2. 2 that we can write. That means this 5 also 1, 5 is missing. In this 2 group also 1, 2 is missing. Correct? That means the 100 must be multiplied by 2 into 5 equal to 10. Correct? So here... Uh, this 100 must be multiplied by 10 to make it as a perfect cube number. Answer. Question number 3. Find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. Here we need to divide. That means if some numbers without pair is there means that number we should divide in order to avoid that pair. Right. So we can take first one and, it will be, and then it become clear. First one is 81. 81 means what? 9 into 9. Correct. 81 we can write as 9 into 9. 9 we can write as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 3 into 3 is 9. Again 3 into 3 is 9. Like that we can write the factors. Here this 3. This is in one pair. So here which one is extra? 3, 3 is extra over there. Right. So if you are dividing with the 1, 3 means this 3 and 3 become cancelled. Right. We dividing with the 3 means 3, 3 become cancelled. So here... Uh, this 3 does not have pairs over there, right? This is not a triplet. So, what we need to do? We need to write, therefore, 81 must be divided. Divided by 3 to make it as a perfect cube. Answer. Second one, 128. So we can take the factors, prime factors we can take 128. 2, 6, 2 are 12, 4, 2 are 8, again 2, 3, 2 are 6, 2, 2 are 4, again 2, 1, 6, 2 are 12, again 2, 8, 2 are 16, again 2, 4, 2 are 8, again 2, 2. So the factors are uh, 2 into 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 2. That means triplet. This is an extra triplet. Here 1, 2 is extra. That means 128 must be divided by 2. Divided by 2 to make it as a perfect cube we can write. Third one. Third one is 135. So 135 factors we can take. 5 stable. 5 2 are 10. 35. 7 5s are 35, 3, 9 3s are 27, 3 into 3. So, factors is equal to 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. So, this is a triplet. This 5 is extra over here. That means 135 must be divided by 5 to make it as a perfect cube. Fourth one. Fourth one is 192. 192 is equal to 2. 9 2s are 18. 6 2s are 12. Again 2. 4 2s are 8. 8 2s are 16. Again 2. 2 2s are 4. 4 2s are 8. Again 2. 1 12. Again 2. 6. Again 2. 3. Correct. So this is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So this tri triplet. This is also triplet. So here 3 is extra. That means 192 must be divided by 3 to make it as a perfect cubic and right. Fifth one. 704. 704 factors we can write. 2. 3 2s are 6. Then 5 2s are 10. 2 2s are 4. Again 1. Uh, 7 2s are 14. 6 2s are 12. Again 2. 8 2s are 16. 8 2s are 16. Again 2. 4 4. Again 2, 2, 2, again 2, 11, right? So this is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 11. So this is triplet. This is another triplet here. 11 is extra. That means 
uh, which one this 704 must be divided by lavendo make it as a perfect cube we can write last question number four let's see if we can do question number four question number four is um Parikshit make a cuboid of plasticine of side 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. This is a cuboid sides are given. How many such a cuboids will be, uh, will he need to form a cube? So this is the sides of a cuboid. 5 cm, 2 cm, 5 cm. Here we need to find how many such a cuboids will he, that means number of cuboids he need to form a cube, correct. So the given numbers are 5, 2 and 5. So the factors we can take. So here, suppose here we are taking means, this one is 5 into 2 into 5 we can write, correct. So here, which one is, we don't have factor, this 5, 5. So which one is missing over there? 1, 5 is missing. That means triplet only we need to make it right. The factors of 5 and 2 both are not in a group. Group of triplet right. So what we need to do. The number must be multiplied over here along with the 5 is 1, 5. And to make this 2 as a perfect cube means what we need to do. We need to multiply 2 twos, right. So what is the answer that is equal to 5 into 2 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. That means from here we will got the number must be multiplied by 20 to make it a perfect right that means here then uh, how many cubes is needed to uh, number of cuboids equal to 20 we can write good here it is clear that this is a cuboid right cuboid means cube that means three pair we need to do the given number is 5 2 and 5 from here it is clear that this is not in triplet right this here 2, 5 are there. If you are multiplying with the 1 more 5 means that become a triplet. Again 1, 2 is there. Again we are multiplying with the 2, 2 means that become a triplet. Correct. That means the number must be multiplied is which one? 20 to make it as a perfect cube. Correct. Here only we need to make cuboids to a cube. So which number we need to multiply? 20. That means 20 cuboids we need to form a cube. Answer.